In our last tutorial, we took a look at uh, how to find extensions. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to install extensions into your Joomla package so that they will be resident and work together with Joomla. This is a fairly easy process, but there are a couple of tips that I'd like to share that uh, may not always be uh, that obvious in the documentation. First thing that I'd like to recommend that you do is create a folder for Joomla. <clears throat> I've got one here on this uh, drive. And here's a place where you can just keep all of the extensions that you download. I started a new folder uh, a couple of weeks ago, so there's only a couple of extensions in there just now. But uh, it's a good, a good idea to organize these and keep them all in the same place. Because you'll no doubt uh, be working with more than just this one website. There's a good chance that you'll get so excited about Joomla that you'll be creating websites for many different purposes. And it'll be handy to have these plugins ready to go into your new um, websites. So what you need to do is navigate to the folder where your downloads went to when you downloaded those extensions. And if you haven't downloaded the extensions that we showed you in our last tutorial, the JCE editor and the all videos, maybe just take a moment to, now to go ahead and download those so that uh, we can show you how to work with those extensions. Here they are here, all videos and uh, com underscore JCE. So we're just going to put those in our Joomla folder. Now, um, once you've got those in a place where you can find them easily, let's open up our administrative panel, our back end to Joomla. And so here from the control panel, what we want to do is go to extensions and click on extensions manager. And then from here, select the Browse button, and that will open up the uh, file management system on your computer. And uh, just go to that folder that you just created to store your Joomla files. You'll notice that most Joomla extensions, if not all, come in a, a zipped folder. And your first instinct might be to say, oh, well, I guess we better extract this zipped folder. But you don't have to do that uh, for most extensions. This extension manager is designed in such a way that it accepts these zipped folders. It brings them in. It extracts them automatically in the background and finds the file that it needs to start the installation of the plugin. Now, there, there will be a couple of exceptions to that. Some vendors do want you to actually extract or, or unzip the folder before you install it into Joomla. And usually what they will do in that case is they'll have it, that mentioned right in the file name. It'll usually say something like unzip me first in the file name itself because it's a, it's a rare exception that vendors ask you to do that. It's more common, probably 95% of the extensions that you bring in will be designed in such a way where you don't have to unzip them at all. You just install them as is in a Extension Manager. So using the Browse button, go to your Joomla folder, click on the JCE folder. I think you could just double click on it and it brings it in. And when you see it showing up here, you can just hit the Upload and Install button. And Joomla will bring that in. And you should get a confirmation message here that the installation of the component was successful. Let's go after that uh, other one, Browse again. And this time we're looking for all videos. Double click on it. We see it shows up here, so we can hit Upload and Install. And we get the confirmation message again that it uh, all came in and installed correctly. Maybe just before we leave, we can go over to our components folder now and notice that the JCE editor is now showing up over here in our components menu. And it actually has its own control panel where you can change some settings uh, and that will affect the way JCE editor works as you use it to write articles. And notice that we don't see that all videos shows up here as its own component, but we will find it now in Plugin Manager. If we go to Plugin Manager, we'll see that all videos is showing up. You'll notice that it has the red X, which means that it is not currently activated by default. If you go ahead and try and use all videos at this point inside your Joomla package, it won't work. You have to activate it first or enable the plugin. 
So enable it and you can also uh, change some settings by going inside the plugin itself. But we'll talk about that in a later tutorial when we actually work with this plugin. Just something to keep clear in your mind is that when you install an extension into Joomla, it will show up here in the plugin uh, section under extensions, plugin manager, and here's where you can work with the plugin. We notice that the JCE editor is also showing up here in the plugin manager. So every time you bring in an extension, it will show up here in Plugin Manager. But if it's a, a complex program in and of itself, if it's a major extension that has a lot of capability, it's very likely going to show up not only in the Plugin Manager, but also in the Components drop-down menu. And this will actually give you more, uh, probably more control uh, here than you would be able to access from the plugin manager. Let's just check that out. Let's go to JCE. And yeah, here there aren't a lot of options to be able to work with JCE editor in the plugin manager. Basically, you can just turn it on or off. So when you want to make changes or uh, settings to the JCE editor, here's where you'll find that. All right, well, I believe that does it for how to install extensions into Joomla.